Hello friends, this is a short introduction into how to use a multimeter, which is this thing in my hand here, to visualize your body voltage and the effect of connecting to this type of common grounding equipment has. Um, and you can see a, a visual representation. You can also use this exact same technique around the house to find out areas where the amount of um, EMF that you're picking up from various sockets or wiring in the wall or appliances um, or indeed overhead uh, power lines um, or rooms that have hotspots or areas of rooms that have higher voltage than, than others. Um, you, can, you can go around the house uh, using your grounding plug, put the grounding plug into a socket and then use your multimeter safely to, to measure. Um, you can just see here I've got a few different types of grounding plug. Uh, this one doesn't have any of the bottom two and these three here they've got all got two ports where you can plug your grounding equipment into which is these sort of universal pins um, and they all do the same thing. You can see they've got metal on the inside, uh, they've got plastic pins and they just connect to the earth which is this top one here. So for the, what we're doing, we, we never put our probes into these bottom two, which is negative and positive. Um, you can get yourself a nasty shock. Uh, and if you are not a qualified electrician, nor in the supervision of a qualified electrician, um, it's, uh, it's extremely foolish to be playing around with electricity. So we can say that we are safe whether or not we have the power onto our device. This is currently powered off, and if I'm just using this remote control, I use this little device here to turn all of my sockets off. Uh, not only does it save money, but it also reduces the amount of uh, unneeded EMF around the house. But I'm just gonna turn it on. See that light flashes on, and turn it off, on, off. Okay, but for now we're just going to have it off. I will be turning it on um, later just to show you can see how the current that is going to come, the live current that's going to come through this wire once the plug socket is turned on, how that affects the reading, the visualization of the uh, the, the body voltage. And this isn't a non-scientific uh, term, body voltage, because uh, if you appreciate, you know, our bodies have um, very small electrical currents running around taking care of our nervous system and so on, which is also easily visualized in things like ECGs and and uh, other tests. You can see activity in the brain by the picking up of very, very small electrical current. So um, we have body voltage, but this voltage, when you read, you know, one volt, three volts, 12 volts, um, it's, not a, it's not a scientific uh, term. It's more of a visualization that you can see that we're picking up voltage from appliances around us. So we're going to just use one of these plugs. Uh, plugging that in here, as you can see, it's just connecting to the earth. And we're going to be using the multimeter. Now, um, you know, all multimeters are slightly different. Um, well, not all of them, but a lot of them are different. You'll have, uh, I'll just show you here, with the line, solid line in the dash dash, that's, that's um, DC voltage and the one with the sign, the squiggle, and the V, that's AC voltage. Um, if you, any of you drive an electric car, like a Tesla, or one of those, um, the batteries, they're, uh, they're on DC voltage, and then they'll be converted into AC vo voltage um, to run the motors. So it's an interesting subject. I'm not going to go into the difference between AC and DC voltage, but for the purpose of what we're doing, we're using AC voltage. And some multimeters might have different gradients of them, um, 10, 20, so I just put on 20 or something. Again, you'll get relatively similar results. You'll just see different fractions uh, pop up, or you won't have any readings at all, and then you're in the wrong setting. But as long as you're on the squiggle and a V, you're on AC voltage, that's all good. We can stick the probe, the black probe, into the grounding plug. And that's safe because not only do we have the power off, um, as you can see from the plug, it's only connecting to the earth. So 
I'm going to be touching this probe here and seeing uh, what reading we get on the multimeter. Uh, just a safety point that if you were doing this um, and putting your probe in here, which is strictly forbidden unless you're under the supervision of a qualified electrician or one yourself, um, it's a very foolish thing to do to be touching uh, probes. But as we're dealing only with the earth, this is a safe practice to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger on this probe because it's in the earth socket there. And we can see my body voltage has risen to 3.9 volts. That's pretty high just sitting here. If I turn the power on, which I've just done on here, just turn it on, it's gone up to four, and turn it off, it drops down to three. And that's, that is just the effect of having my body near this cable that's bringing in the electricity. We just turn it back on again, on, goes up to four. And if I just move that to that finger, I'll watch this as I put my hand on the cable itself. You can see that rise higher and higher and lower and lower. There we are. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to plug the grounding mat in. And if you don't have a grounding mat or you just have a band, you can use a band as well or a bed sheet. They, they all, will give you the same sorts of results. So now, as I warned you about that popping out, so keep an eye on that guy. There she goes. So now I'm going to hold my finger there take my hand, I'm going to put my hand on the mat, watch the voltage drop right down, it's almost gone, it's 0.1. As I move my hand, move my body closer to the electrical cable, move around you can see it moving, and then let go, you see it rises up again. Now here's an interesting thing, so you can, you can do that in various parts of the house, or if you uh, want to turn turn the power on and then put some of these types of USB sockets if you find one that are really light or even the ones that screech that loud noise if you put your hand anywhere near it you can go up to like 10 10 15 volts because it's just releasing you know so much uh, EMF around it um, and then as you can see about hand on there it increases decreases increases decreases uh, if you're sitting next to your computer or you've got some monitors around you or you have lots of desk lights or you've got electric underfloor heating and these sorts of things, you'll, you'll notice amazing spikes. So we're going to do one more thing before we finish this off. I'm just going to take the, uh, take the plug off of the grounding mat. And you can try this with a grounding sheet or with anything else. Now, I'm going to put my finger on there to see the voltage go up, so at 9.8 volts here. Now, if I put my hand on the mat that it's not connected, what do you think is going to happen? Go up or down? Let's see. It went up slightly. See? It goes down. And then as I put it closer to the mat, it goes up. And the reason is because the material on the mat is slightly conductive. So that anything that's, that's, that can pick up frequencies and, and transfer them, whether it's a, a metal bed frame, uh, a grounding mat, um, wiring around the house, even when the uh, um, power's not on them, uh, it can pick up frequencies elsewhere and it could you know, help increase them. So that's why having things like metal bed frames um, can actually increase your body voltage and it's interesting if you go around your house so take this take, do this experiment so take your plug take a socket again you don't need the power on as I said so if you've got one of these multi sockets and you want to be on the safe side just keep the power off on the wall you know it's always better safe than sorry um, and then see what different readings you get around the house so here I am in the conservatory but I've got lots of sockets around me and I've got the power on if I turn the power off you can see it drop down immediately, turn it back on again, and it goes straight up, off, down. So that's, that's the difference between having a current come through the cable into this plug socket or not and the effect that it has on my body. And again, I'm just going to stick my hand on the mat to see that drop. So we've lost almost all of the active body voltage. 
Now the residual voltage is because there's still frequencies in this house and it's they're still being transferred through my body. But because for the safety reasons, these cables have got 100 thousand ohms of resistance that's 100 kilo ohms of resistance resistance effectively slows current down so the higher the resistance the slower the the the, the transport of current through a path and because we're providing resistance it's like having a, a much smaller door at the other end so everyone can't rush out together um, but if you were to go outside, and I've, I've shared some videos uh, showing, you know, being further away from the house, you can actually see your your um, uh, reading go down to zero. So I hope that's been helpful. We've looked at safety. We've talked about we don't need it even to be turned on at the wall. We don't need any power. And we certainly don't put our probes in these two here. We're only using uh, the grounding plug. And grounding plugs are safe because they don't even connect with the positive and negative. So I hope that's been helpful. You can use a multimeter for many other things, although I do recommend um, getting some form of formal qualification or training if you're going to be using it for testing uh, live current because it can be very dangerous. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration. Um, any questions, please put them in the comments. Stay happy and healthy. Bye-bye.